I'm just gonna show you these two little bowls. So these are um, chili bowls that she made for us. They are so cute. They have, you know, the bowl with the handle, but in the handle is a hole so you can put your little chili spoon in there. So super cute. I may use them for dip. Maybe put, cause this is a pretty big spot. Put, put a little spoon in there. Even this one, well, I could do that. Leave these spoons in there. Okay, and put the dip in here and this could be what you use to get your dip. Cause I think we're gonna have, well, I know we're having ranch dip. So, um, cause we do ranch dip with chips cause I'm able to eat that, the ranch packets. And then we add the sour cream and then I'm able to eat that. But look how beautiful they are. They're handmade. She does handmade pottery. And then I have another one that we can use for something else. So you can use it for chips and dip or you can use it for something else. I have some cheese um, and crackers that I'm gonna put out. So, and then my son is bringing more appetizers to put on that dish right there. So I still have my harvest items out on the table. I will take all of those plates off and rewash them since we're gonna be using them and then add two more to this table. That will give me six at this table. Um, one at the, what do you call that? Um, a bar and then the four kids, five kids at the table. We may actually end up getting out the, um, card table with chairs, but I threw this massive bag of marshmallows. So we did a Walmart delivery and my husband thought he just bought regular marshmallows because I have to watch the brand since they're not all gluten-free. This one is gluten-free, but they're huge. They're so, so huge. I think that's awesome though. <laughs> we can do some s'mores when our friends come from Texas out on the um, fire pit. So all this stuff is also just piled here. There's chips. And what else do I got down here? Oh, there's biscuits, there's chips, two bags of chips. Biscuits, no, I can't have those. I've got to have my own. Um, let's see what else. I think that's all I've got out here. Okay, so that was just pieces of what I am using on Thanksgiving. Um, the other two sets of placemats are here. Don't mind the other stuff on the table right now. Um, so that's there. Oh, and, and we still have Halloween candy. Oh my goodness. Okay, just putting all the dishes back on the table. A lot of times I just leave the dishes on the table for the season. So if they do come over and we're eating on Thanksgiving or Christmas, I just pull them up and wash them all. Doesn't take very long. Okay, I'm gonna put the last two big dishes and I'll we'll grab the other stuff. So I'm just setting it with the plates and the bowls. I'm not putting any of the silverware out yet. I guess I could do that. Okay, so all of the bigger plates are out. I'm gonna grab the smaller ones. Okay, I see this design is really pretty. Um, my husband's grandmother gave us these. They're very pretty. I only use them for decoration or on holidays. So 
So I have a dinner plate and then like a salad plate. I think we'll probably just be putting extras on the salad plate. And then we also have these bowls that we use for, actually you can put off like the corn casserole, you can put the green bean casserole in it or whatever. So I've got six settings on this table. on the buffet. We'll definitely have to move the table forward when people get here. But that's what my table looks like for Thanksgiving besides all the food that's going to be on it. Um, I will definitely keep you guys in um, knowing what I am putting out next. So tomorrow morning I will go ahead and start filming again for Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Thanksgiving. So we're just doing the appetizers right now. So I'm just going to give you how to give you a look. There are more appetizers coming. Look at this. This is awesome. He's okay. And this is my yum, yum, yum. Look at all that cheese and meats and grapes and olives. Okay, hey guys. Now, um, I was telling you about some jeans that I got on Amazon that I really love. So here are some jeans. They're called jegging jeans. They have just the coin, no, they don't have a coin pocket in front. They tie at the waist, you see? Like you're wearing sweats, but they're not sweats, they're Jeggings to and they have two pockets in the back. I love the fading on these also So these were made by LEI and I bought these at Walmart several years ago So I have probably four pair of these it, All in the same size that I was wearing then but different colors well now I can't wear them because of the 30 pound gain. Um, I have been looking for these at Walmart and they don't carry them anymore. So I went on Amazon and they had a pair by LEI. They are the pull on jeans also, and they have a little bit of a different waistband and they feel more like jeans. Um, they're not as lightweight as the ones that I just showed you. Hold on. So here are the ones that I just got from Amazon. So it, it's like a regular jean, but the, I'm gonna do the waistband. They're a little big, but the waistband is the same type of thing. It's got the stretch, it's got the little tie, it's got a coin pocket in front, it's got two pockets in back, and even though they're a little big, I can wash and dry them. So that was like the medium. I'm grabbing the other one. That was like the medium jean color. Okay, and these are just an indigo color. They're all straight leg or they're supposed to be kind of skinny, I guess. But same thing, it has a coin pocket. Almost looks black, but it's not black because they have a black also and I have not bought that yet. And then two pants pockets. So these ones here were $20 and some change, okay? But these ones, the lighter colored ones, were $18 and change. So I'm gonna try these out. I'm gonna try them on for you really quick. I've already washed and dried those, so hopefully they fit better. I tried them on when I first got them and they're just a little big, which is okay because I can't wear anything in this tight. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna back up just so you can see these. I tucked, I did half tuck of my shirt. Um, 
so you can see the waist of these. So they do go all the way down to the ground. You know, like by my ankle. I can wear tennis shoes with these. I can wear boots, especially in the winter. And that was my thing. I have all these shirts that I didn't want to wear with black leggings. So this is the shirt I got at Old Navy. Love it. It is so comfortable. I mean, $13.48 was the price on this one. Like I said, I'll put links below for both of the jeans and how much they are. It's constantly changing. But I do remember this one being $18 and some change. And here's the back. I'll show you the back. I mean, you might think they're too loose for somebody wearing them. But this is how I have to wear jeans if I want to wear jeans. So, I'm so here it is. It's laying flat, but you still have this. You know, I can always tuck it in if I need to. But I have it cinched, like making them a little bit tighter because they still are a little loose. But it has this. And where it's sitting on my belly button, it's not hurting. So like I said, it has the coin pocket in the front, two pockets in the back. I like it. I like the color. I like the fit and how they feel. I know I might be pulling them up half the day when I do wear them because they are a little big, but it's okay. I cannot believe I found another pair of jeans because I have been ordering prime wardrobe with all these pants and jeans in it because I'm trying to find one pair I can wear. Okay, and here it is. Plus I have the indigo. I'm gonna try on the indigo one for you guys too. But let me know what you think. I mean, if it doesn't look good, you can tell me because I'm going to wear them anyway because this is what I have. So um, give me just a minute and we'll check out the other pair. Okay. It is so weird how each pair of jeans fit differently. Like the, they were all in the same one that I was buying. There are three colors, black, medium wash, and indigo. So I got the medium and the indigo. But these two feel nothing like each other and they fit nothing like each other. But they do have this waistband with a little tie. I'm gonna have to try and wash and dry them again. But because they're just a little bit bigger. Um, you know, this part's okay to be big, but I want it to be a little tighter down here. Um, this is what the back looks like. So these two are just like straight legs or skinny. They got two pockets. And they've got the tie waist and super comfortable. It actually feels like I'm wearing sweats or leggings. But indigo is the color of this one. And like I said, they're a little big right in here. But you know, these are some good pants for turkey day. I might wear these. Because <laughs> you know, you eat so much stuff that your pants get tight and these are already loose. So maybe I'll wear these with a cute little um, harvest color Thanksgiving shirt. So, well guys, I wanted to show you how I improvised on getting myself two pair of jeans that fit, that are inexpensive, the cost of one good pair of jeans. Um, I you know, like Stitch Fix, kind of started me on democracy, which I love democracy pants. Um, I have four pair of jeans, two of them button and two of them pull on, that I was actually able to wear last year. Now I tried them on, but no go. <laughs> they hurt because they're tight up here and it's just, they won't work right now until I lose some weight. So hopefully, I am, let's see, I am down 2.4 pounds. Yes, in a week. So um, I'm gonna try and lose more. I would like to get down to at least 130. Um, and right now I was at 155, 1553, I think it is. So um, like I told you guys before, my normal weight is about 
120 over the last couple of years. I'd say, let's see, back five years, I was about 105 pounds. And then probably three years, I my weight moved up to about 125. And I was happy with 125. We know that that's still wonderful. But then I gained 30 pounds over the summer. And I think if I would have gained it slowly, it probably wouldn't bother me as much as it all of a sudden, like in a month and a half's time or two months time, I'm 30 pounds heavier. But you know, due to medications, they all they do say weight gain as a side effect, and I knew that going in, but pain is very low. So that is all that matters. Okay, my friends, my subscribers, thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate when you come and comment. Like the video if you don't mind, please, as you know, that helps my channel to grow. Those of you who are not subscribers yet, if you like this kind of content, also I do weekly vlogs, daily vlogs. Um, I do hauls, I do subscription boxes, reviews, and lots of travel when we are allowed to start traveling again. I am getting cabin fever not traveling. I don't mind being at home at all, you know, during the week, but I don't want to travel and it's just not safe. I normally see my mom and dad um, twice a year. I fly to California and I haven't seen them since last February and it's breaking my heart. Um, it's just not safe. My mother is on, is on oxygen and has several health issues that would not be good if she caught corona. So she is hibernating in the house and I know it's getting old for her and she doesn't get out very much, but it is keeping her safe right now. And I pray that soon we'll be able to travel again. I'll be able to see her. So, okay guys, like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I put out videos and I will see you in the next video. Bye.